A troubling private conversation between President Trump and a foreign leader has rung such an alarm bell that the intelligence community's internal watchdog calls it an urgent concern. A whistleblower complaint filed over the summer involves President Trump's communications with a foreign leader. Their conversation included a promise that was regarded as so troubling that it prompted an official in the U.S. intelligence community to file a formal whistleblower complaint with the inspector general. And now the whistleblower's complaint is the subject of a bitter public dispute between the Congress, which is entitled by law to see it, and the director of national intelligence, who's withholding it. You have an inspector general who was appointed by the Trump administration who came forward of his own volition to the intelligence committee to give us a heads up that basically uh, a complaint was being withheld from us despite the fact that he believes that it should have been forwarded to us uh, through the office of the director of national intelligence. And he also further related, and this is also in his correspondence, that it was both credible and urgent. We would love to talk with the whistleblower directly. And it was certainly our expectation uh, when we wrote this statute that there would be an opportunity for anyone in the IC to come to the committee and expose wrongdoing. And that's always been the case because whistleblower complaints, even when they were found not credible, even when they were found not urgent, were referred to our committee and the whistleblower was told you could go talk to the committee. Here the director is refusing to tell the whistleblower that. In fact, the Department of Justice is effectively telling the whistleblower you're not covered, yeah. which means that there is a real risk even in coming to Congress. And that is obviously a supreme problem. Uh, I would love to be able to say that the president won't be vindictive, uh, that the Justice Department won't be vindictive. But I can't make that assurance if the Department of Justice is taking the position you're not covered. Congress deserves to know whatever it is that's in there. And if the inspector general thinks that it's important enough to send over to Congress, then it should be sent over to Congress. Again, it runs into the whole, the whole tension right now that's going on between Congress and the White House about the right of Congress to have information that the White House doesn't want Congress to have. Somewhere out there right now in America is a whistleblower from the intelligence community who has gone through channels, and done things by the book and sought whistleblower protection under law to alert Congress in good faith about a serious and urgent matter that reportedly involves the president, his communications with foreign leaders, some sort of promise that he has made to foreign leaders, and potentially some shenanigans involving the nation of Ukraine. Bit by bit, the substance of the complaint seems to be coming to the surface while hour by hour, the Trump administration appears to be fixing its crosshairs on the whistleblower and on anybody who helps him or her make this story known. At a fundamental level, this is repulsive in terms of how whistleblowers are supposed to be treated in our country or in any. But this is also ongoing. This is live. It's happening right now. I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.